Welcome to the Uncle Geek Podcast, the show where we give you our genuine perspectives on today's world of comics. Thank you for being here. I'm Roy. I am Nick. Today is our Geekly Debrief. On this week's episode, we'll be talking about love. Amore. Specifically love and the relationships in the world of comics. What we like, what we dislike, what we consider healthy, unhealthy relationships and more. Kind of like in theme with... The Valentine's Day episode that we're going with here. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. For sure. Be sure to follow us on the dot Uncle Geek on Instagram and TikTok for updates or sign up to our newsletter at www.uncle-geek.com. Let's get started. Let's roll. Go ahead. All right, so here. I I have a list. You kind of have a list. <laughs> sort of a list. It's kind of a list. I don't know if it's a list but per se. It's like some of the couples and relationships that we are favorite, maybe not, but just interesting relationships and dynamics and couples. Sure. Right? Yes. Okay. So, do I get to start? Go ahead. I, I get to start. I, I, okay. Um, you get to start. Uh, it was hard for me to get, uh, I'm, I'm pretty sure locked in my, my first couple, but on the, the ones that were on the cusp, they're really on the cusp, I wanted to mention. And this is deep. This is like, Back, back, deep, deep. Hmm. Um, and that is in G.I. Joe. G.I. Joe? G.I. Joe. Yes, they what? have comics. What? Uh, Snake Eyes and Scarlet. Ooh! Yes. Wow! Yes. Snake wow. Eyes and Scarlet. Good so, one. So, um, you know, Snake Eyes, he was the, the ninja. He really didn't get much of a save anything, did he? <laughs> Maybe that's the reason why <laughs> she dug this guy. Yes. You know, because he's like... He's just like, mm, mm. <laughs> he didn't even, he didn't even, even kind of like our producer's dad. He didn't like, even, mm, he never mm. did the, he, <laughs> he never went, mm, mm, mm. he was just kind of, yeah, not, my, not, not much uh, space for argument there. Yeah. <laughs> Guess not. <laughs> <laughs> no. So, <laughs> like the guys. So do, uh, do you, do you know some of the history a little bit about, about this? Uh, I, I, if, from what I remember, and this might be a, uh, a, a mishmash of all the movie yes. stuff and yeah, comic book content. stuff, yeah, but yeah. it was when, uh, when, when Snake Eyes first, uh, b- became part of the Rashikage clan. Yeah, well, she, very early he, on in, in, in the comic book series. Yeah. yeah. He, she and, uh, uh were, well, yeah. Snake Eyes and Scarlet had a, had a relationship before he, I think, before he had the 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 accident that caused yeah. his agreeable personality. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Good. Yeah. Good. Yeah. So, um, yeah, but they're again. Well, I'm specifically mentioning Snake Eyes with Scarlet, but in the comic book series, there was an actual relationship between yeah. Scarlet and Snake Eyes. But if you guys recall from the '80s cartoon. Primarily, kind of little thing with Duke. There was like one little scene in like one of the first uh, movies that they do. Um, uh, I think I read. I think I vaguely remember. Yeah, that. there's one little scene there, but otherwise, there's always seems to be something between her, her and Duke. And in the live action, as you know, there was kind of small thing, but then it went to Ripcord. Yeah, oh. the Wayne's brother. Uh, but primarily in the comics, it was Snake Eyes and Scarlet. Yeah. One of the things I think about is that because of this, you know, they were, it's a work-related <laughs> a relationship. <laughs> and then there was the tragedy of, you know, I think he was he had rescued you and a part of that rescue. Yeah, so yeah. That's how he lost yeah. his voice. And she's yeah. like, oh, man, you kind of rescued me and you, and you lost your voice. So it's like. Is it that sympathy thing? Yeah, you know, yeah, for him. Yeah. Plus, he doesn't. He can't really win any arguments. <laughs> <laughs> so it's like he's an awesome dude. You know, got a solid pension. Talk. He's got a job. He's pretty ripped. He's one of you those know, strong, silent. Types, <laughs> yeah, so, as it were. Yeah. Seemed very attractive. So, again, I, I like that one. That one's been very interesting to mm, me over the years. It's a good one. Although it, you know, when the live action series came out, it did bother me. Yeah, it bothered me that they didn't touch it on it. Oh, but when they did the Snake Eyes Origins, mm-hmm. yeah, just, they they kind of they, brought, that, yeah, they, they kinda, stuck it in a little bit. You know, I don't know how that far that's going to go anymore now. But yeah, they kind of they kind of snuck that in there. Yeah, they they brought it in there. Yeah, yeah. 
Yes. Mm-hmm. So we'll see how this relationship lasts. You know. Yeah. I don't know. Good one. Good one. Yeah, I know, right? Good I good mean, good actually, one. honestly, I'm, I'm thinking about this just in comics in general. Yeah. The first relationships that I learned about were from comics. Yeah. yeah. And, and cartoons, and not from people. I mean, you, you had your parents or whoever you had out there, but yeah. like that's who I know. And this was my first uh, understanding of. Yeah. That dynamic. Yeah. So, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Good one, eight, good one. ten, whatever years old. All right, here you go. You, you got one or the multiple branches. Well, yeah. So I, my, the one of my favorite ones, like Brent, like this stems from well, from my favorite superhero, Spider Man, Spider Man, and his alter ego, Peter Parker. So he's had a few relationships. <laughs> This guy. Well, and they were, they were, I mean, they, they, they were, I mean, there were a few, but they were very, I mean, these were uh, one of his, his more like, uh, I, I, I guess they were his, they were pretty significant relationships. Yes. I, I, yeah. I, I, um, I think. Shaping his, his yeah, life, his yeah. career. Yeah. And uh, the, the, the first one, obviously, with, with Peter Parker was the one with Gwen Stacy. In the comic books, that was, that, that was Peter Parker's true. One true, one true love until the blonde, right? Yes, until tragedy. Yeah, Str- struck. Yes. She, she. I died. can actually, I don't know and she, you, I can see that. I can see the and she comic in my head right now. Yeah, like, I she. See yeah, I mean that 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 frame. Yeah, I, that I could, frame lives in my mind right? forever. It's there, right? I could, it's, where the Green Goblin just throws her off the uh, throws yeah. her off the bridge. He freaking tries to save her. Throws. Spins I'm his, like sad right now. Thank spins you. his <laughs> web like <laughs> throws his web at her. Catches her, but snap. <laughs> Die yeah. in the movie in the movie with Andrew Garfield and and Emma Stone. Amazing. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. With Emma with with Emma Stone, who who Stone. who by the way was I, I think one of the best characterizations of uh, of uh, of Gwen Stacy. Yeah. Sorry, uh, Miss Bryce Howard. She she was the she was uh, she was Gwen Stacy in the third one. Yeah, she was just a bit part. Mm, yeah. But uh, 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 anywho, yeah, Gwen Gwen Stacy died. Spoiler alert! Died in the movie too. <laughs> same, but same, uh, same thing. I mean, they they adapted yeah, that for real yeah. life, and I mean, that 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 sucked. That was well, you know, like you, 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 you kind of you because you know it's coming. Right? You kind of knew like, that. Okay, when 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 she fell, well, I think this, in this in the movie she fell down a bell tower, mm-hmm. and and like <laughs> Andrew Garfield threw his web and like. She hit the ground and uh, that was that was pretty vicious. I was like, oh, yeah. oh god, that sucks. And so, just the deadness, right? Yeah, and that her, and her eyes. Yeah, that sucks. When you know, and I think when the coolest of in that movie specifically, yeah, yeah. when it does shoot his web, it's like the little yeah. hand, right? the web actually looks like a hand. It's like reaching yeah, out. So one of the other, those uh, like uh, Gwen Stacy and, and Peter Parker, one of the one of the big ones uh, there. You want to read a great? Uh, I don't know if you've read this. If you want to read a great uh, Spider uh, Peter Parker and Gwen Stacy story, read Spider Man Blue by Jeff Loeb and Tim Sale. The art's great. It's uh, I, I I got the uh, I got it when it was the uh, the uh, we'll put up a series. Link. Uh, yeah, we'll put up yeah we'll, we'll, we'll put up the link. We put up a, I, I got the series when it was uh, what you call it. Um, it wasn't put together. Yeah, so, yeah. You know they, how they put yeah. in paperback these. Yes, dips, they, 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 they collect them. Yeah. They, I got them as, as they were uh, that that limited series. Great the series. original way. Jeff Loeb and Tim Sale did a did a few of those types of series with Captain America and Superman and the Hulk and I think I believe Daredevil. That was a pretty that was a good one. See, so, and I think I this is what's interesting about you know comic book characters, superheroes, is that they're still real people. Yeah, you know they 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 crave you know not just the attention of they're the you know the people they're saving but like like actual intimacy you know and like like they love him for being peter not being yeah. so. i actually you're, oh, you're here we go you're here now about that now with right. uh, another relationship with with peter was uh was felicia hardy the black yeah. the black cat yeah. in, in the comic books i love that name by the way she yeah a great name she didn't care for the peter parker person she cared for the the Spider Man yeah uh, side of yes. of his person of his personality, so that was a that was that dynamic was ah you know what keep her you know I, no she she like like when when Peter Parker took off his Spider Man costume he was like oh <laughs> <laughs> it, was, it was like oh. 
can can you put your it's like re- it's like finally when you look up a your radio host that yeah. you love yeah and you see that yeah, they've, they've got this great voice yeah, and you see them, they're like like oh wow that was nothing and then you and then you look at them and they're all this how's it going yeah, that that's that's how I remember that. that. I remember that. Yes, that's how that relationship was. She didn't care for the Peter Parker persona. She like, yeah, can you put your mask back on, bro? <laughs> God. I mean, and, and that was, I mean, that was their relationship. They, I mean, they like would go out at night and and uh, you know fight crime and like do all the do all the. Superhero couple things, I guess. That well, yeah, they I mean, they're work, they they're work. Yeah, they work. You know, they, they, yeah. they, they, they work together. You yeah, know? but yeah, when but when they got into a relationship, she didn't care much for Peter Parker. Peter Parker was just, oh man, you suck, get out of here. So, um, another Peter Parker, uh, another famous Peter well, how Parker. How about I go? And we're gonna come back. Oh, okay, okay. Well, because because yours is because like the, 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 the next the next one talk goes into our next thread of, um. Unhealthy, unhealthy oh. relationships. So you go ahead. Okay, so since we're going into uh, unhealthy, I like I like where this is going. My next one, DC Universe, Joker and Harley Quinn. No. So, <laughs> I, yeah. Talk about unhealthy relationships. <laughs> I mean, don't don't get me wrong. Crazy goes with crazy, uh, right? I mean, well, no, so, but see the it, it from what you know the from all the origins. I mean, the, the Harleen Quinn fell in love with the. He, she was she was yeah. his uh, his doctor. Yeah, his, she uh, fell yeah. in love with her patient. She, yeah. yeah, and she became a nut job herself, <laughs> or maybe she was a nut job already. Who knows? I don't know. <laughs> I know people with that level like you. You know. Um, yeah. Yeah, I mean. Was she interning? I forget. Or no, she was like a she was, no, she was a full, she was a full yeah. on doctor. Like she that was, was a, yeah, that was a full she was a full on doctor. I mean I don't I can't recall is Joker was supposed to be handsome. Cause the depictions of Harley Quinn are always she's really yeah, good she, looking yeah, she's and such. Hot. What does that matter? I, I'm just saying. You know? <laughs> what is uh, what does that I mean, matter? Like, you like, want, okay, she's okay, before she goes <clears throat> into the room. She's read the dude's chart, right? She's read the Joker's chart, mm-hmm. and and however many pages and you know anthologies there are <laughs> of this guy, yeah. and she's got to be like, oh man, this, you know, yeah, yeah, you know. But for some reason, after talking to him and all these interactions, I mean, yeah, I, 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 I think that's I genuinely think that's really scary. Yeah, you know, yeah. Yeah. someone, and that's how. Badass, the Joker is though, <laughs> right? I mean, you think about it, it's like that. He's able to pull this woman, you know, and plus she's a psychologist. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's a that that's fun. I remember in the nineties when what was it Bat uh, the Batman animated series? Yeah, right? the animated series. Yeah, yeah, when that came out, I was like, who is this? You know, and then you know, I they started, created her for that. Yeah, I, I know, and then. And then it came after, like, yeah. you know, in the comics. and Because I, I was like, who is this person? And she kept on reoccurring yeah. and such. and But really good story, you know, eventually, you yeah. know. And I like how it's going now. And, like, like only very recently, you know, her relationship with uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Poison Ivy. Yeah. Um, are you following out there, anybody? Uh, it's on HBO. Is it Harley Quinn? Your daughter's watching it, apparently. Yeah. I didn't know, like... <laughs> You're- your your you eleven year old the daughter. reading thing on the screen or whatever. I'm not reading that or something because I'm like somewhere else and I hear what they're saying and such and I'm like. Whoa. Apparently, your daughter is watching this show. Your yeah. eleven year old daughter yeah, no. is watching this this rated M for mature. Is it really? It's, it it's, is. is that, it could uh, someone verify? I have no idea. Well, oh my gosh. But yeah, I mean they curse a lot and, and but you know who's hilarious in that is Bane. Yeah. Bane is freaking. He's, he's really, he's really funny. That, but I, I like you know she's because she, you know, Poison Ivy's like you know, the Joker. She's toxic and whatever. And but they also had the breakup in the Harley Quinn, uh, Birds of Prey. Is oh, that the I one? Didn't, I didn't watch. You didn't watch that? Yeah, I, I didn't, think I didn't watch Birds of Prey. I think that's when she broke up, or they broke up, and oh, there. Oh, but she was in that. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. But yeah, I mean, Poison Ivy. I mean, 
Yeah. Poison Ivy's pretty cool, though, in that show. Yeah. She's pretty She's pretty lax. Eh, for someone that was just created for an anime TV show. <laughs> I, I I know, right? Yeah. yeah. Good. And then what? In, in supposedly the Joker 2? Oh, yeah. She's, I, Lady I, I Gaga read that. Is supposedly I, 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 I've read that. I've read right? that. Oh. I've read that. <sighs> that's that's going to be... Yeah. You thought the Joker was like, psych. Now you throw in the doctor and that... Oh, yeah. That's, that's going to be that's gonna be crazy. So... All right. Yeah. Let's move on to yours. So, you know, we're talking about unhealthy... Like, we're talking about unhealthy <laughs> no, no. relationships... Now, I mean, well, not so much unhealthy, but like how how some of these couples are just can be a distraction, or you know, mm, yeah, to to the super. So Spider Man, let's let's go back to let's go back to Mr. Peter Parker, Mary Jane Parker. He's she's probably one of the more like out of out of all of his relationships. He she's one of the more fa- like I guess more mainstream and famous one out of I guess yeah. out of, if. I mean, people know who Gwen Stacy is, and like, like you can, you can, you can tell who, like, how old somebody is by, by who was Peter Parker with when you were when you were Gwen Stacy? Oh, you were this, you were this, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, Mary Jane Parker. Oh yeah, you're this, you're, you're this, this age, you're this age. Yeah, so whatever ages, yeah, in the comics, yeah. yeah. So, but I, I think in I think in the in Mary Jane, God, that was just such a that was just such a weird pairing. Just because she, unlike Gwen Stacy, Gwen Stacy was, I don't know, she just was, you know, she just like fit with Peter, but like Mary Jane Parker was like a total opposite of what, uh, of what Peter Parker was in the comic books. Mary Jane was this hot, you know, this hot (laughs) redhead and, you know, she was fiery and outgoing and then, Wasn't she like a... Aspiring model. Or yeah, she was. Like that, I, in, yeah, in the comics, she was in the original. Uh, yeah, right? and she was a she was an aspiring model, and, and you know, and but Peter and her were you know they were friends for a long you know they were friends for a long time, and at one point they did at one point in the comic books they did get married. I even bought yeah. that comic book. By I, the I way. can see that in my head. I bought uh, yeah. that. I bought that comic. It was it was an it was an annual too. By the way, it was an Amazing Spider Man annual, and it, it was it's like so weird. Like annual. I can actually see, when you talk about this, I can actually it come up in my head very vividly. Annuals tend covers. to be yeah. Annuals tend to be like yeah. thicker, like fifty percent like, yeah, thicker. Like thicker <laughs> like a little, little bit. Was, yeah, because it was because it was an annual, yeah. right? Yeah. yeah, it was this whole thing, and they got married. And it was yeah, it was oh, it was happy. It was great. It was great art, by the way. Yeah. If you can ever, if you can, ever, well, I guess you can find it these days. Marvel does digital comics. I'm sure you can find it some somewhere and, and and catch a read of that one. But I had, yeah, I I had that, and you know, that was like, oh, cool, Mary Jane. Well, you had it, yeah, Mary Jane and uh, Peter Parker married. Mary Jane and effectively <coughs> Spider Man got married. Uh, but throughout the course of their their marriage, she just became a I don't know she get kidnapped all the time and you know, yeah like she I mean just, she just she, she just plot device a, she, yeah she, yeah she, became, <laughs> yeah, she became she became a plot device of like okay Venom's gonna Venom's gonna kidnap her ah uh, Craven's uh, gonna kidnap her ah uh, the Green Goblin's gonna yeah. kidnap her. yeah and, and it became it became it came to a point where that I mean I, was, I, I don't know if that's not so much that's that. That's not the unhealthy uh, relationship that Parker that, that Peter had. That's my next one, <laughs> the very unhealthy one. I, I'll tell you about that. But <clears throat> as of right now, I uh, from what I from what I've you know I've seen in research, Peter Parker and Mary Jane aren't married any aren't married anymore. Uh-huh. Um, it's just because I think what happened. I mean, again, as a uh, you know a plot device and and all of that. I mean, when when they went through that whole Civil War thing. Yeah. And you know the, yeah, the no, superhero registration act, and yeah, Spider Man yes. like revealed who he yeah. was, and you know everybody and their mom no. started going after Aunt May and, mm-hmm. and Mary Jane, and at one point uh, Aunt May got got hurt, and then there was this, uh, and then there was a storyline where Mary Jane and Peri- Peter Parker like uh, met with literally the devil of the, the Marvel Universe, Mephisto, and it became a deal where you know let please let Aunt you know, please let Aunt May live, and you know, we'll, you know, I won't marry him. But it became this whole thing, and at the end of it all, Mary Jane and Peter Parker ended up not being, not, not are, are currently not married. They're just. And what friends. about in the multiverse? They're just friends, right? In the uh, the one with Miles Morales, 
when the old Peter Parker comes. They're not together in that either. That uh, that rea- like, you know what in that reality in 40s, that yeah. from from what I've read that that Spider Man in that reality yeah. is supposed to be Tobey Maguire. Yes, is the is the, the Tobey who comes, is, yeah back. is the Tobey Maguire yeah. uh, Spider Man. I believe in that reality they're yeah. married, or are on the raw or are having just having marital what, issues. When when I saw that movie and I saw I saw that part, I was like genuinely sad. I was like, oh. And, you know, he's talking to her. Yeah. And he's the waiter. Yeah. <laughs> I'm like, oh, man. Yeah. It's so, it's crazy. I feel so bad for him. Crazy. I mean, I mean, I know it's comics and it's crazy. a movie and whatever, but I feel for them. I mean, like, I have this, like, long, long history for these guys. Yeah. And I'm like, oh, yeah. God, this poor right? guy. You get, atta- you get attached to them sometimes, right? Yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm very much attached, you know. Right. I'm committed to these guys. I mean... What about I you? want what's best. What about what about I you? I want what's best for these guys. What's another? What's a what's a like a? All right, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go. Device. I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna shift. Yeah. Okay. Because those were tough ones. Yeah, they were really. Um, MCU. Captain the Cap, Steve Rogers, and Agent Peggy Carter. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, in the end, that all worked out. I know, isn't it? Oh, in the end, yes, that in all the worked end. out. I mean, a- anybody chime in, please. But you know, I mean, you start with the first Avenger, right? And I mean, it literally ends the whole thing with yeah. them having the dance yeah. and their whatever the, that music is, and it's oh. yeah, that was yeah, that yeah. was a great. You know, the whole thing about how I mean, she knew that he's a good guy. Yeah. You know, and he just, he dips the serum and, you know, goes to the procedure and then he becomes, you know, the cat. But, yeah. you know, she, she cared about him for being Steve Rogers first, you know, and then he got jacked and he's like, wow, you know, whatever. He yeah. went through his puberty. Yeah. I'm yeah. Sorry, superhero <laughs> puberty. I'm sorry. <laughs> <not>. <laughs> I don't think I've ever used that term before, but that's, you know, what happened, but. And then he's going on all these missions, and then obviously he goes in the water and is frozen, and like he just he's gone, and he misses yeah. out on <coughs> pardon me on on all of that. Yeah. When he's you know they're just they're just kind of getting there, and it's like oh we're gonna go on this date, we're gonna do this dance. No. Oh, and you know he has to go and save. Yeah. The not just the America, but the world and the universe. Yeah. You know, and how he just comes back, and I'm so curious about that life that he had. When he went back. When he goes back. Mm. You know, and like, uh, does, he that'd have, be some... does he have kids? Are there little America? Little, you know, <laughs> little Captain America? Little captains and little lieutenants out there running around, and little Carters <laughs> out there. But I, I really like uh, Agent Carter. That character a, a, a lot. I think she was she was so genuine that it's like he's a good guy. It's yeah. not about like this guy's an, look at what he could do. Yeah, you know, it was about Steve. Yeah, not Steve Rogers, the cap. Yeah. So. Yeah, yeah. Guys. Yeah, yeah. You know, and the little weird thing about her, what is her grandniece or something? <laughs> kisses her in that. Yeah. Uh, Don't get me wrong. Uh, she's like, oh, come on, Aunt Peg. I mean, like, it's the cap. You know, like, <laughs> what do you want me to do? Come on. I mean. <laughs> yeah. But, yeah, that's, uh, and, and they, you know, out of all the relationships, right, in the MC universe, at least in film, it's like, that. well, that one hurts me the most because, for me, I think it's very, very tragic. Yeah. You know, but then, you know, the end, it, you know, he comes back and, yeah. Apparently has his whole life with her. I'm like, oh, for yeah. Shit. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Not best. You know, Amore. And you know, <laughs> Thank you for that. You know, Sp- you, you know like, Spider Man's one of those, like, well, Peter Parker's had, always had to balance his, uh, you know, he had to balance his personal life with his superhero life. I mean, that, and, and, you know, you know. Being a freelance photographer, taking pictures, <laughs> taking pictures, photographer, of, taking pictures of himself to sell to you know, and, and you know, and he was doing selfies and, and, before there were selfies, <laughs> right? Yeah, <laughs> selfies and selling them to the bugle. 
Parker! Uh, anyway, so uh, he's had to deal, I mean, and, and, <coughs> and as far as relationships, I mean, he's had, he's had to balance some unhealthy relationships uh, as well. So I'm, I'm in, again, yeah. and I'm sticking with I'm sticking with Peter Parker because he's he's probably been through a lot of these types of relationships, and they're not and not with people, yeah. <laughs> not with not with people because uh, this this, this next re- this next relationship is is him and the uh, and the symbiote yeah right now who's currently who's currently Venom. I know you touched on this right right now because I, touch, I, I like where you're going. With this. this. I mean, this relationship that he had with the with the with the symbiote. Yeah. I mean, it was it was unhealthy because it was it was a codependent. It was like literally a codependent. Yeah, 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 yeah. It was a codependent okay. relationship. the The symbiote was trying to like like bond with Peter Parker and like be with him. Yeah, like. Yeah. Permanent, permanently, like, like, forever. Trying, not trying like to, trying to stick just bounce with. around. Like you're the one. Yeah, you're, you're the guy yeah, who you're, I need to. The, yeah, you know. And, I mean, and, that's a good pick, of course. And you know, and there's there's a lot of there's a, you know. I mean, I'm not gonna like delve into like unhealthy relationships that that like stick, but this one, this <laughs> like like literally stick to you. But you know, this was. I mean, this was one of the ones. It's like an, an allegory for a lot, a lot of those types of a lot of those types of relationships. The the breakup was messy. Yeah, like they literally literally had to pry that thing pry off. off. Yeah, like they had to pry that thing off of Peter. I mean, they, the in the comic books, I, I and I have the, I have this comic web web of Spider Man. There had to be a certain frequency of sound. Web of Spi- was, yeah, yeah, web of Spider Man number one. When he when he when he found out, I mean, they he found out that the that the the costume was alive. Just like, just like, just like in real relationships, you figure you find out some some crazy stuff about your. <laughs> I was like, what? <laughs> you're what now? And I got right off of me. And you're like, oh okay. <laughs> and you're trying to like, no, we need to, we can't be, the, we can't be together. And and the, the 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 symbiote was like, oh no, we're gonna we're gonna try, we're gonna. <laughs> no, 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 you're, you're, not, you're away. We're not, you're not no, going no, away. No. I'm going to be your no, your. I love I'm, you. Yeah. <laughs> No, literally, that's that's it. But that I that was it. it with the sim that with the symbiont. Really, that was the and like we they had to pry that yeah. thing off. They had to pry yeah. that thing off of him. Like he went to a in, in the comic books, he went to a bell tower. Yeah, the bell tower. He yeah, he yeah. went to a bell tower. Had the the, the bells ring and, and the freaking the the he had to withstand the the bell and, yeah. and and the finally the, the the thing just just came off and. They they ca- they captured him. They they captured the symbiote. They they trapped him, and, and now it's with and, Topher Grace. And, and now it's with Topher. Circling back to Topher Grace. Oh my I'm God, sorry. Topher Grace. Get out of here. <laughs> so and and just like and just like any other any other relationship. I mean that that relationship was 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 messy. And one party was oh like, God, yeah, was one messy. yeah one part was like, you know, Peter moved on with his life. And well, you know, that's Peter, normal. Peter moved on with his life, and Peter, yeah, Peter one moved can't on. let go, you know. Peter moved on with his life. He married Mary Jane, and guess who got jealous? Yeah. The freaking symbiote got yes. jealous. With so I would too. And you know, it's Mary Jane. I mean, at this point, at this point, the the symbiont's moved on and has and now has a and now has a you know, he's, <laughs> he's moved on and is now bonded with Eddie Brock. <laughs> Not Topher Grace. They did not, not this to, not Topher Grace. Oh, uh, I'm sorry. That's a good one. Yeah. So, yeah. That that's one of his. Uh, you know, his most unhealthiest relationship was was not with a person, but it was with an alien, <laughs> an alien, an, 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 an yeah. alien symbiont that was trying to bond with him forever. Yeah, that was great take, man. Crazy. Really, really great. Crazy, and it, it, I mean that's that's kind of a theme of you know that's kind of a theme of again like codependency and like how breakups can be messy and, and, and yeah yeah it's weird weird. <laughs> Go ahead. How about you? This Valentine's Day theme, right? I just, <laughs> just want to come back. I just want to come back to that, right? This is Valentine's Day. Theme. Yeah. Right. Hey, I had a couple honorable mentions. Do you have any before I want to go my one? Uh, you know... Let me go, let me go, let me do mine. Okay, go. All right, okay. Go ahead. Go ahead. (laughs) So, uh... I'm gonna go off of what you had just said. I wasn't gonna do it, but I'm gonna go off of it. Sure, go ahead. So, that's, uh... That's, uh, Star-Lord. 
in Thor. <laughs> Star Lord and Thor. The little, Saturn. <laughs> here a little bromance that they have going on there. Uh, you know. Oh. <laughs> yeah, right? I mean, you know, there's a little something there. So, you know, and, uh, they're, they're kind of, when they first meet, and everybody's like, dude, like this guy, Thor should be our leader. And Star Lord's like, and, you know, now they're trying to get all alpha on each other or whatever. <laughs> you know. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so, and, you know, and, and I think basically, like, you know, Thor was looking for the life that Star Lord had. Yeah. You know, and that, that family that he had. And he's like, hey, yeah. you know, I like. You and yeah. like maybe not necessarily liked yeah. him as much as yeah. he w- was jealous of him and wanted to be him. Yeah, you know to have that because I mean he lost Asgard. And yeah, everything. So he's like looking for a, <laughs> a, a, a new clan or tribe or whatever like that. But yeah. I always thought there was gonna be something there, but there's not. But you know, weird, weird little romance. You know, <laughs> Thor also had that thing with that. Who was that guy? Daryl, who was his roommate. <laughs> In Australia or whatever, right? You know, the yeah. guy who lived with him? Yeah. Yeah, so I was like, he's, he's got these weird relationships with these guys out there. Yeah. He's got quite a few. Yeah. Not just a couple, yeah. you know? Yeah. How he is with his brother, the rock guy. Yeah. The Taika's character. What's the rock guy's name? Anybody? Gorg. Gorg. Yeah. He speaks in the, the, um, hey, the Maori uh, New Zealand hey. accent. I'm Gorg. I'm Gorg. <laughs> <laughs> He's such a great voice in that. Oh. That's my friend yeah. Thor. <laughs> I know. I could I could just have reels of him going on and on and on. That guy. Uh, Taika, uh, you know, everything Taika he Waititi. does. Yeah. Oh, you got one there so that you want to throw out before we get to our finals? Uh, just probably, uh, uh, this one's a fairly conventional yeah, one. Yeah, go, everyone, go. Everyone, I, everyone, I hope everyone. you're going where I think you're going. This one's a fairly conventional one, uh, Batman and Catwoman. Oh, yeah, this one. Well, I I, I think it's fairly, conven- uh, fairly okay, conventional. Oh, well, this okay, hang on a second. Well, you said did you say conventional? Am I hearing that right? Well, conventional in the comic book sense, I guess. Well, well, because okay, this fine. Because, you don't want to use that <clears throat> because this this particular. I mean, this particular one. Talk about you know. Uh, talk about balancing like person. Balancing. Like, talk about balancing a superhero life and 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 and, and their personal life. I mean these these two kind of make it these two kind of make it work even though you know Bruce Wayne he's a millionaire bad and then he's Batman and then uh, uh, what's the she's she's Selena. a yeah Selena Kyle she's uh, a a a thief and then she's like a so she's a socialite her socialite. you know she's a socialite herself and they know who, who each other is and yeah. it still and it still, it still works. It still works yeah. So you know they, they facilitate and you know and there's like there's you know there are else world uh, stories he's, out there he's about he's a good her. guy he's a hero and she's not well she's kind of a I pick people who are at least on the same side of the spectrum she's they're kind both, of they're, they're both heroes or they're both bad guys she's kind of a well she's kind of a, they're kind of, we're talking about relationships it doesn't, doesn't need to be like well because she's a bad guy and he's I mean this one that's kind of that's why that dynamic was is yes. kind of weird it, yes. not weird but it's just not you know yeah. you're saying that you know Selena Kyle is of questionable <laughs> morality, morality yeah, yeah. whereas Batman well he's Batman's kind of he's kind of crazy himself he's he's oh. he's kind of a nut job himself because he's yeah. just obsessed with obsessed is the word with yeah he's just a, he's just obsessed with doing you know doing the you know doing the right I'm thing vengeance. yeah. I'm Batman. Like one of the, the you know, it's like, where's my Big Mac? <laughs> Selena. <laughs> that would be, you know. So I, I think, uh, yeah, I I think that's a the, the it, I want to say that's a conventional, not conventional. I I, I mean conventional in, in comic book terms, just because oh everyone knows about Catwoman and and yeah. you know and yeah. Batman, Bruce Wayne and Selena Kyle. You, you know what I mean? So. And in, in all the movies, they hit them. Yeah. Right? I mean, the Tim Burton, Noel, Chris Nolan, they do it. And as well as, who did this last one? Uh, it was... Uh, uh, It'll pop up Lenny second, Lenny or... Lenny Kravitz's daughter. <laughs> Zoe, uh, Zoe Kravitz. Zoe. Yeah, yeah, but every, every, every you know, movie depiction that they've done... Hits on this relationship. I, 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 right? 
quite honestly, I think I like this this particular one. With, this with pair, Zoe. This pair, yeah, with Zoe and Pat. I do too. I, yeah, I like it. I do too. I like I, I like this particular pairing of the not that not Anne Hathaway and Christian Bale. But yeah. <laughs> Christian Bale is my favorite. Is my I think Christian Bale's um, I think is my oh man oh he's oh, almost my goes. favorite he's almost my, <laughs> almost he's almost, almost my most favorite Batman next to Michael Keaton just because I can do just because I can do the Batman voice <laughs> Roy. <laughs> <laughs> Anyone know? Any, anyone? Anyone watch those uh, those Bat Dad shorts? Yeah, I, I <laughs> my my daughter those loves. Are, my daughter loves. Those the Bat Dad are shorts. hilarious. I, I hear her at freaking two thirty in the morning giggling, and I'm like, what? Are you? Those are hilarious. <laughs> those are hilarious. Shout out to to Bat Dad, man. Those <laughs> those shorts are hilarious. He's always like walking up to his wife. He's uh, he's always walking yeah. to, walking to his wife. <laughs> Roy, <laughs> and she's like, ah. stop doing that. Where is my coffee? It's got to be really not thinking about this. Got to be <laughs> really absolutely one of the more famous like comic. You know, I'd like some sugar and some. <laughs> it's got to be cream. Zoe Kravitz though, she's really good. I, I thought she was really good. That in my coffee. Her fiction. <laughs> yeah, I mean Anne Hathaway presents really well. Um, and she came off across a little annoying to me a little bit at times. Yeah. Yeah. But I actually really, really like um, Michelle Pfeiffer. Cause she, like, I felt for her, you know, because she, you know, she's like kind of nah, me and whatever that, that like that. And she, and she turns. Yeah. You know, that's what weird. I liked about it. She she went from being weird. very insecure to being really confident. Yeah. That's what I liked about that. You know. Uh, we're, we're talking about like how like – how family and friends can also play a role in these comic book relation uh, relationships. So again, back to Peter Parker. Yeah, please. Yeah, I was, <laughs> I was exactly on your way there. Back to back to Peter Parker. I hit you know Aunt May and uh, Aunt May and uh, Mary Jane again. Going back to Civil War and the Superhero Registration Act. That whole thing. I mean, that whole. Th- that whole thing became a you know oh my gosh you I, I know who Spider Man is and oh my god Peter Parker is Spider Man what so now everybody and their mom who knew who knew Spider you know Spider Man's Rogues Gallery just like oh we know who you are oh we're coming <laughs> oh. after oh we know who your who your wife is we know who your Aunt May is and that in a in a situation like in a man in a situation like that that's how. I, I, that's how I guess why you have a secret I secret identity to keep your your to, to keep the loved ones safe and it's, I mean that kind of showed like oh man yeah that's <laughs> you better have a secret identity and I think one of the things we mentioned about Peter Parker specifically versus some of the other people we had mentioned yeah. on there is that Peter Parker was so young yeah like teens and young adult you know going through some of this stuff versus Probably when Batman, he's probably already in his thirties or something like that. When you know, so he's you know, they got mileage already. Yeah, yeah. Even like Superman, you know, with you know Lois Lane, um, and some of the people that I had mentioned, you know, they're they were old. He was a kid, you know, yeah. he was a kid, young yeah. adult, you know, doing this. And again, with Aunt May basically raising him, yeah, you know, so yeah, and he was already not. Great socially, as it is. Yeah, you know, not that many of these guys who we mentioned were, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, oh. You know, and I, I think that the relationships that that that's being depicted, I mean, <laughs> <laughs> some of the, I mean, are they realistic and relatable to to <laughs> real life? Are you are you kidding? <laughs> I mean, some of the stuff that happens in real life is like <laughs> is crazier than the stuff that happens in that people make up. Like, like, oh yeah, oh yeah, for like, sure. Yeah. Like seriously, I mean, you know, there. I mean, you hear about prison guards, yeah, right? I mean, <laughs> right? it's the Harley Quinn and uh, and Joker, right? It's oh, not, it's not that far off, really. Yeah, you know, oh, not man. that far off. Oh, oh man, you know, and you know, I was just talking about, I was just talking about, like, you know, breakups in uh, breakups in the comic book and stories, and you know, I mean. It's it, it was a weird breakup with the, with the symbiont and Peter Parker, but it was a breakup. None. It was it was a breakup story, 
none uh, nonetheless i mean you can someone can argue that that whole that whole saga with the symbiont and peter parker was just kind of like a <laughs> was kind of like a a a love story gone oh yeah gone gone crazy you, for, for sure. <laughs> you know what i mean and talk about talk, i mean talk about like messy breakups that was a messy messy breakup speaking of messy breakups and like tragic you know the end of relationship. I had this is my one. Yeah, it's a good segue into good, it. Good. So, um, a little unconventional, but um, so it's from Star Wars, and it's Obi Wan Kenobi with. Oh, I know where this is going. Yeah, <laughs> Duchess of Mandalore, uh, Satine Crease, Crease, Crease. Yes. You talk about this all the time. I do because I all love Obi Wan, and and spoiler. She dies, like she she's dead, and 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 you, you know who kills her? It's Darth Maul kills her, right? And Darth Maul also killed Qui Gon. Yeah. So, <laughs> so I mean, you're you're Obi Wan, whatever. You're in the desert, wherever you are, you know. Yeah. And you're like freaking Darth Maul, man. <laughs> you know, like that jerk head. It's like. <laughs> If you know, maybe, maybe, maybe if, if he didn't take down Qui Gon, maybe Anakin would be okay, you know. Probably. And maybe I wouldn't have to stick around the Jedi Order. I could have been with the Duchess and partially rule Mandalore. I don't know. Uh, yeah. Again, like the what ifs, you know, the what ifs. There's so many what ifs. Yeah. With Obi Wan, again, very tragic. But that relationship and 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 what I like now is that is you know of course that her sister I'm not sure it's probably her younger sister no. is um Bo-Katan, who's the night owls from yeah now with the Mandalorian series yeah, yeah. there I don't know if there's gonna be any flashbacks It'd be pretty cool well you know, you know that upcoming, you know that upcoming season that's coming yeah up next you know month. it's all gonna be about you know, Mandalore, it's all about Mandalore. You know? and and that's again. I bring this up because I think she was a part of the reason why Mandalore fell. Because in, in the Clone Wars, she, her political party, uh, you know, that was ruling were pacifists, which is totally against yeah. the Mandalorian ways. Yeah. And her sister was on the other side of that too. Yeah. So yeah, yeah that's the relationship. Even though it's like minutes of a relationship in the universe of Star Wars, I think has significant impact yeah I I think that like uh, coming back to Obi-Wan and his relationship with Anakin I think because Obi-Wan was strong enough to like okay I'm a Jedi yeah she's a sender or you know maybe she was a duchess, duchess at the time we gotta keep this separate we were strong enough yeah to be responsible and was hoping that cause we all knew Obi-Wan knew was hoping that he could do the same, which obviously yeah. he didn't. <laughs> you know. Yeah. So yeah, that's oh. so many things could have been different. I think. Yeah. Many yeah. many things. I, I I I agree. Yes. Any love triangles that we maybe oh. perhaps should uh, yeah. discuss? I I I didn't want. Do I get the other? Do you have it? Uh. Well, I've got one. Well. I, I I'd have to say this is not not a I mean the the, the whole Gwen Stacy and yeah no Gwen no. Stacy and, no no that's that's uh, love I that's what I was gonna say that was yeah, more that's no. more a love parallelogram yeah it's that, <laughs> yes. that's a love parallelogram rather yeah. than a a triangle per a triangle per se um I, I will I will say this that if you read Spider Man Blue Mary Jane is in that. Uh, is in that comic. It's 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 a great way how they they involve her in in that story of Gwen Gwen Stacy again. Read it. It's a great read. One of my favorite. So we're not talking stories. about that. Though. One of my favorite. One of my favorite uh, stories. So any love triangles that you'd like to talk? about? Uh, you want me to do mine? Oh yeah, go uh, ahead. Okay. Um, at least well, you know, it's in the comics, but it's also in the movies. In X Men, Cyclops. Jean Grey. Oh, boy. And Wolverine. The triangle. Yeah. And it starts, at least in the movies, it starts like, like right away. Right away. The triangle. Yeah. 
Yeah. That's, that's one of the, that's like one of the timeline, <laughs> that's a, like a timeless I know. comic book. I, I know. Love triangle. And this is, it's so complicated, you know, with the, with this one too, you know, and, and, and you know, I, I don't want to say they did him wrong, but, you know, Cyclops, I know he's kind of stiff, not only in the comic, but also in, in the, but I mean, it's who he's supposed to be, he, you know. But, you know, from what, from what I, from what I know about that comic, that, that history is that, you know, Jean Grey, like, loves Scott. Yeah, and, but Summer, they and they, stays they, and they were you know, they is. were like teenagers. And they were like in high school or whatever age in, in, when they first started and kindled but, that thing. And and I think Wolf and, and and you know Wolverine just, you know, that's that whole unrequired and unrequited, yeah. you know, thing with with Jean Grey and and I know that and I I, I think I know that you kind of know that Jean Grey knows that Wolverine has this, you know, that Logan has this thing for, yeah. you know, has this thing for for her. And and if I remember correctly, if I read a, I think I read a comic book story out there one time that you know he's she said as much. You know, I you know, I I, I you know you I care about you, but yeah, I'm with Scott. I'm you know, I'm with Scott. Yeah. I yeah I I'm with Scott. But and it's not always me. there. I'm like oh god, please. Just. Yeah. I mean. It's not. Uh, it's not for drama. I mean, I don't think that's there for you know. That, that's there for dramas, <laughs> <laughs> a plot. <laughs> uh, you know that's. But you know they work closely me. together. I mean, I get it. You know. Yeah. I get it, and you know, I I could see there are times where it's like, oh god, that has got so dull, you know, and there, you know, I could see and she'd been with him forever, you know, yeah. and and Wolverine's pretty cool. Yeah. You know, He's just a cool dude, so I, I get how there's there'd be times where, you know, Logan's interpreting, you know, some of her responses and actions towards her as like, mm-hmm. oh, maybe you know, maybe there's something here, yeah. you know. Yeah. Oh, you got one besides a. Uh, ah uh, no, I that, that yeah. as well, far as I mean I like that's that like the that's like the big low to hey there was one more um there was one more couple that you kind of. Mentioned to me. Oh yeah, you. Well, yeah, say say this one. Uh, I, I like I like it because gonna know this. You guys are gonna know this one. No, okay. some people will. Uh, I find okay. So like the the all, all two right. people that listen to our podcast <laughs> will know who they are. I think it, last week we added one more. Oh, that's your brother. You guys <laughs> share the same account. Yeah. So the likes don't matter. Okay, so I'm gonna come. Oh, this is go. A so this is a good okay. one. Transformers. What? Okay. Transformers. Optimus Prime. They have relationships? Yeah, and Alita One. Wow. So in the original, like, cartoon. Alita One. She was the, I, what, I, what do they call I'm not sure they said female or feminine. I don't forget what they called it. But, yeah, she was like, a, I think she was like second in command. Yeah. It was like him, Ultra Magnus, and her, or something yeah. like that. And yeah. They had a relationship or whatever. They, they, there was, in the regular after school cartoon series, she... Three or four times, I don't know, something like that. But most recently in the Netflix, yeah, the Netflix series, she's she's been in that predominantly. Yeah, you know, and you know, just like robot love. I mean, this, <laughs> you talk about alien love. Why can't there be robot love? You know, you think Huffer was their kid? Remember, Huffer was the little mini. No, uh, right? Wasn't no, he a mini no, uh, trucker? No, no. I don't know if that's how it works. I mean, it's, no. it's Spark. They say Spark. <laughs> he just had a, that's not the kind of spark they were talking he, they, about. He had a spark and you know and huffer. That's what it comes out. Okay. But I mean, like yeah, like literally minutes in there, and uh, actually a lot of times in in the Netflix series, she doesn't agree with him. Like she loves the guy, but she's like, you're like, you're not a good commander. I, you know, <laughs> you suck. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> part of it, I think it's just because she loves the guy. You know, uh, I like that series a lot. God. I like that series. <laughs> no, that, it's a good series. Yeah, I right. Think, well, they're they're supposed. Well, no, we're going into the, the we're, we're going into like that. That's a new show coming up soon. That like there's a there's a there should be a new uh, a new series coming out that with the with the um with the, or did it already come out and I already watched it and I don't remember it. Oh my god, the animal the 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 um what's what's that called um. The Beast Wars? Yes. Didn't it come out already? I think it may have, and I watched it, and I don't remember. Anyway. Live action movie? No. Are you talking about no, no. The, the Netflix series. Oh. I don't know. Yeah. 
I'm going to have to look. Now I'm going to do homework. Okay. I'm fine doing homework. I, 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 I really am. But this was really fun doing this one. Yeah. We've talked about this before. Just go kind of like happen to be Valentine's Day coming up soon. Yeah. yeah. You know, so it worked out. Yeah. 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 So that's all the time we have for today. So thank you so much for listening to this episode of the Uncle Geek Podcast. So stay tuned for more news of the geek, our geekly debrief, and geek thinking. My name is Roy. My name is Nick. Thank you once again. Happy Valentine's Day. And we'll see you next time. Uncle Geek Podcast. <laughs>